At the 10 minute mark, you really have to move forward. You have to constantly be moving forward in that first 10 minutes of the race because that's how the race is going to play out is how you race the first 10 minutes. And I kept moving forward wherever I could. And I was trying to be as aggressive as I've ever been. At times I was a little too aggressive and I feel kind of bad about it, but you really need to be aggressive and I was aggressive in this race.
finally found my flow and um, I talked to somebody uh, this summer who was a pro rider and he gave me some really good tips and he basically said you need to split the, the course up into small sections and find out certain sections where you can push and have recovery sections. So that's what I did for this race. You know, I identified sections where I could just naturally flow, naturally be faster than I normally am, or that my fastest sections without pushing. And then I found the sections where I really needed to push and I broke it up into small sections and I rode those sections accordingly. And it definitely paid off. certain sections of this course and I you know I was a little weary of it you know I was like ah oh, man you know I, I was thinking that maybe the leaves you know being blown off would be better but it really actually helped a lot with the uh, with, with with keeping the moisture down on the course and it actually somewhat made it tackier which was a surprise. neutral in the rock sections this year. I didn't lose any time, but I definitely didn't gain time like I have in the past. I was hoping to really get, you know, to, to make some passes in the rock section, but they like kind of extended it out and the way they designed the rock section, it, they were all butted up against each other. It was easy just to kind of hit the first rock and then kind of glide over them where now they spread it out and made it longer that you have to kind of weave your way through. So it's not nearly as fast as it used to.
So, still kept my flow, and for lap three, I had my plan, I was riding really well, and I was holding back, and I was definitely flowing really good, and I rode this, uh, this third lap with the intent on conserving energy because I knew that final lap I was going to need to surge. So the final lap, I started cramping early, so uh, I wanted to get ahead of that, and I kind of peeled back a little bit because I wanted to finish strong. And then I started getting caught, 
and I had to ride hard throughout the full lap while cramping. I didn't have the ability to kind of to, to, to control them, so I had nothing left by the end of this race. I really wanted to do a strong sprint finish, but my body just was not having it. I really had a lot of fun. Uh, I love this race. I'd have to say it's probably one of my favorite races um, every year. And from what I hear, there's something big and special coming. Um, so more on that at Camp Edge. But I cannot wait till next year. And also, uh, there are still races going on. I'm going to be racing in Ringwood uh, December 1st. 
and I think that's going to be the last race of the year. So a month from now, I'll be racing uh, the, uh, the the Frosty something or other in Ringwood, and I'm super pumped about that. It's going to be another type of epic type race. So until then, I'll see you soon.